I'm getting ready to head to the airport now. Like a dork, I left my toothbrush, so I need to go buy another one really quickly. Um, but then I'm gonna hit the airport, and I'm gonna be two hours early. You have to be two hours early for international flights, so I got my little brother dropping me off. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna just eat in the airport. It's like 11.15 now, so I'm trying to like hustle, because my flight is at 1.30, so I'm trying to be there at 11.30, but Mm, I might be there at like 11.40, but nonetheless, I'm still two hours early, so I'm fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I managed to pack only one suitcase that I need to check, and I'm proud of myself. And what else did I have? Oh, I have one rolling, like, laptop case that my boss gave me to use because I have my work laptop and my laptop and then I have my iPhone and my work iPhone like I just have too much going on so all these electronics and then I have my iPad and uh, I bought this little thingamajiggy that's supposed to be like really comfortable so we'll see um I never use one of those neck things have you ever used one of the neck things this is a new one it like bends into all sorts of shapes and stuff and you can sit on it you can lean on it you can rest on it you can put it behind your neck <laughs> and it's got beads in it instead of being like foamy. Does it feel comfortable? Yeah. That thing was $15. It better be comfortable. My arm is now starting to hurt because I'm sore from the gym. So I'll see you guys in the airport. Say bye, Kev. Bye. <laughs> I'm eating at California Pizza Kitchen in the airport. And I tried to do healthy food, but it didn't really work. Um, got water, a little fruit cup. It's got like a little bit of everything in there. This is like a turkey bacon club thing. It's all right. And they gave me chips. Womp. But, yeah. I'm gonna eat. And then I'm gonna go to my gate and just try to relax. I have like an hour and a half. So, see you guys on the plane. So I got to take the train um, to switch terminals, essentially. I was on the wrong one. Um, where I landed. So, I'm searching now. times as I've been in the Atlanta airport I don't think I've ever been here and I've never noticed this like whole thing for MLK this is kind of cool it's got you know just uh, some of the, the his uh, his messages apparently things about him such an attractive man. Go ahead, that's terrible. Rosa. Wow. Let me just say I'm so glad I did not live during these times. Pretty freaking cool. Okay, I'm such a germaphobe. I always have my little like uh, wet ones or whatever. So I took him out and I cleaned down my whole entire tray like this because it's usually gross like this one is. Oh, yucky. See, pretty nasty. barely closes but set up shop got something a little bad for me water blanket pillow it's on all right so I made it it's about 7 a.m. in Dusseldorf it's like 1 a.m. back home I'm tired I slept on the plane but it wasn't really enough however gotta get this day started and get like on I'm in time, I guess, because if not, it's going to be a rough nine days, but uh, I'm headed to go get my luggage now, and then I should have a taxi waiting for me, so we'll see, and then, of course, you have to go through, um, through, uh, customs, so.
please tell me why the hell I am an hour late getting picked up by my taxi. I was in the airport all day. My phone that my company gave me does not work. It has absolutely no service over here. So there's nothing I can do with my phone. So I had to use my personal phone to call the taxi company after I had been outside for 45 minutes. I am so livid right now. I don't think I can put it into words. Um, I'm in a foreign country with no mode of contact, no, no clue how to speak the language, and I am stranded. Like, I am pissed right now. I'm going to go to my hotel room, I'm going to shower, and I'm going to try to start over because right now I have one hell of an attitude, and it's really not becoming. Okay, so I'm in my room. I have this little seating area when you first walk in with two little drawers. Not sure what that's about. Then I have a closet for your comfort. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's like a thicker blanket, I think. Yep, yeah, thicker blanket. Um, then you come in. Oh, wait, I skipped a part. Then to my left is my bathroom. It's really cute. Yay! Uh, so, toilet, sink, towels, mirror, hair dryer. Big mirror. This is gonna be great for makeup. Look at how bright it is in here. Boom. Then, uh, the shower. Which I love that this shower is the kind you can like take off. I'm happy about this bathroom. I'm very particular about my bathrooms. I really like this one. Um, and then, Come in here to the room. Got the bedside table. Got the little bed, which is eh, all right. It's actually not soft at all. <laughs> and then I have a nice little view. If I can figure out how to get through this. Nice view out there, just like a little pool, which obviously is way too cold to go to a pool, but um, that's still kind of cool and trees and then the rest of my view is just of the rest of this building. But um, and then there's like a place where I can sit. This is where I'm gonna be doing videos and blogs and stuff like that. Okay, let me tell you guys about my day. So, aside from waiting an hour for my taxi cab driver to pick me up, I then had to wait an hour and a half for my room, which was supposed to be ready when I got here. So, not a whole lot of fun, but I'm trying to make the best of it and stay positive. So, I'm gonna go downstairs and have breakfast and then um, hurry up and change because uh, one of my German colleagues is coming to pick me up at noon. So, I need to hurry up and get dressed. It's like 10.30 now. And I'm just not getting into my room. I've been here since nine o'clock. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on with me right now. Madness. <sighs> just got back from breakfast and I forgot to bring my camera down there so I couldn't show you guys but I had it recorded on my iPad so hopefully this will be me reminding myself to pull out that iPad footage and show you guys what I ate. Breakfast was amazing. This food is so bomb. Like every time I come to Europe I'm like ah, but I also gain weight so um, I'm definitely going to work out tonight when I get back but I got a shower and stuff so I can meet my co or my colleague so really quickly after I shower if I can find an English channel so the first day I didn't really take as much footage I took more so pictures so I wanted to just show you guys some of the surroundings this is a tram the thing was freaking everywhere like you really have to know how to drive and avoid those and then we ended up going to what is called the Rhine it's like this long humongous gigantic river that runs through this part of Germany. And um, we were supposed to take that little boat all around, but we barely missed it. So um, I just took pictures of it anyway, because shoot, I was just happy to be there. So <laughs> I took the pictures and everything was really gorgeous. And then we ended up going to a beer garden. And before we got there, we saw this Imperial Castle of Kaiserwerth or something like that. So this was in real, a really, really old castle that is still sort of, um, you know, up and preserved but most of it is of course rotted away and it's just too old and you know but just to see the architecture and to think somebody built this in little pieces and then you saw a little 
uh, signs that showed you what everything was. So the lower courtyard you would see, you know, what that was for. It showed you different bedrooms and things like that. This creeped me out. It looked like a dungeon, like where you kept slaves or something. I'm not sure what that was, but it just gave me like the heebie-jeebies when I first saw it. So I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, these are just more pictures of this area. This castle was so pretty. And just to think that someone sat there and put each and every one of those little rocks and boulders together blew my mind. Then the beer garden that we went to had some older cars sitting out front and I was like, oh my gosh, these are the coolest looking cars in the world. So this is Out Beer, which is popular in Dusseldorf and that's where I was taking all these pictures. Um, and this beer was really, really good. And then we had this little thing that was sort of like um, a pancake with cherries on top and whipped cream. And the cherries don't taste like US cherries. They are very, very bitter. I didn't love the cherries, but I still ate it. And then it was this fly Rolls Royce at the front. And of course, like a tourist, I had to take a picture with it. Because, I mean, I just thought it was kind of cool. Like, who has this old of a Rolls Royce rolling around? Shoot, who has a Rolls Royce? Like, I don't even have a Rolls Royce, but for it to be old, I thought it was really kind of cool, so. Okay, so today it's Sunday. And I'm going downstairs to meet another one of my colleagues to go and see Cologne which is uh, essentially the dome. It's a big cathedral here that's like really pretty and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to take you guys along with, I think I'm getting sick, which is not a surprise. So um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna drink another um, emergency when I get back to the room. And you know, it's just because I'm eating different. I'm not eating as healthy. I don't have as much water, stuff like that. So my body is not used to it. But. Uh, let's go see what we can find today. Oh, and I always bring my camera, so I'll have really, really good pictures for this vlog when I get back. Yeah, I can see it. Whoa. Camera's not doing any justice to that. Just stairs. Oh, okay. I don't know, 500 steps or something like that. Uh huh. Oh boy, so it's gonna be a workout. <laughs> wow. I have to go a little bit more to the back if we want to take a picture. Here comes this side with the tower. So just first to check to Go upstairs. Okay. You have to go downstairs before you can go upstairs. <laughs> okay. Adding some more. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it's over here. This is something you know, that's hey, cool. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Those people, man, they were at like, not even a bridge. And then other boards, mm -hmm. the church. Oh. To make a tunnel. Just a tunnel. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
So the uh, highest level we could reach is 100 meters. Okay. So we're not really up to the top. Okay, one for you. Ah, thank you. <laughs> okay. It's a road building, so it's a circular stairway. This is as high up as we can go, you said? No, no. But, oh, but there's more. Sheesh. Ah, it feels good. Oh, there's still more? You have to go up here to the highest level. Okay. And you would come down there. Since this uh, stairway is much smaller Whoa. than the one we... Uh, so oh, you can only go down on that one. Somebody has to come up here and work all the way up here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Roughly 100 meter. Wow. And still 60 meter to go. Wow. Top. Wow. Not far off at all. <sighs> This is the highest I think I've ever been in my life. This is really cool. <laughs> Other than in a plane or something. <laughs> yeah, so sorry for New York City. be his owner.
Is it supposed to spell something? Scan the QR code. Oh, free the force. Oh, against forced marriage. Do some donation. Of course, it's not gonna focus. Thank you. 